Hi Cardinal Readers, today we're going to focus on words that have the Y ending. So your learning target today is I can read and write words with the ending Y and Y can say long E. By the end of the lesson, if you can read words like belly, story, and jumpy, then you will be successful. All right. So at the end of a longer word, Y can say E. So here's some of those words. Watch these pop up here. We've got the word funny, baby, fluffy, silly, sorry, bunny, and candy. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you find the Y words the words with the ending Y that say E at the end. Go ahead and look through these words. Remember, they're going to be longer words, maybe two syllables. Great, okay, so I see the word fly, nope. That says I, I don't want that word. How about the word next to it? Tally, tally. Oh, there's the E sound. So I bet you that's one of them. Let's see for right. Yep, tally, good. Did you find two other words that say E at the end? You should have found goofy and sunny. All right, our next activity is to listen to the story, A Silly Tale. Please follow along with the reader. You can play this video over and over, and you can work on your fluency and your tracking by listening to the reader, read it to you out loud, and then you could even mute the, the video and play the video without volume and read to yourself or read to someone at home. All right, good luck. A Silly Tale by Linda Soto, illustrated by Rachel Ivanyi. Spiders we see today have tiny waists, but that was not always the way. This tale tells us how spiders got such tiny waists. It was a sunny day. Granddaddy Spider studied the bees. The bees were getting sticky golden dust from a daisy. What will you do with that sticky dust? asked Granddaddy. It's for a feast, the bees buzzed. What feast? Granddaddy asked. He quickly called his grandkids. The spider babies asked, Why did you ask for us, Granddaddy? Who is hosting a feast? asked Granddaddy. It is donkey, said a tiny spider. It is elephant, said the next. It is chimp, said the next. It is zebra, said the last. Granddaddy had a plan. He spun four silky lines. He tied each line around his tummy. He gave each spider baby a line. When a feast begins, give a tug. Then I will know where it is. Four feasts began at the same time. The tiny babies tugged. The lines squeezed Granddaddy. Then the lines snapped. Granddaddy's waist was tiny, and it remains tiny to this day.